Hey everybody, I'm Josh Van Zant, fitness coordinator with the Lakeshore Foundation. Today, we're going to be doing uh, some balance class. It's called our ABC of balance class that we do at Lakeshore Foundation. Uh, you don't need a lot of equipment with this, but a couple things you may need. One, a chair, because you may want to be sitting down doing the class. You may want to be standing up. Some parts of the class, we're going to be standing beside the chair. So grab a chair if you don't have one already. And also, you can either grab a belt, a mop handle, broom handle, something that you'll be able to hold on to to be able to maybe balance yourself a little bit. I have a cane here, be able to do that. Now, as we're doing this class, do it at your own pace. If you do not feel comfortable standing up, stay in the chair. If you're standing up and don't feel comfortable letting go of the chair, hold on to the chair. Uh, it's whatever your pace is, and we'll let that go with whatever how you feel doing it. So how we want to start this class is just a uh, just a kind of a gentle warm up. You can start in your chair, and you're just going to be just kind of marching. And as you're marching, your arms and legs are going to start moving. Just pop, pop, just up and down, just getting a nice little blood flow going. Now as we're doing that, you can also do it standing. You can do it standing. If you're just walking in place, nice and easy, nice and smooth. Nothing herky jerky. Make sure you're standing straight up, not hunching over. Nice and smooth. Just got that nice little walk going. Now, if you want to, for a few more seconds, if you want to walk around the room a little bit, just, as you just listen to my voice do the class, kind of walk around. Try to keep your head up when you're walking. Don't look at your feet. Nothing good ever happens down there. So keep that head up as you're walking around the room, as you're standing next to the chair, or even if you're sitting down doing it. As we do that. All right, so now what we're going to transition to is what we call our high knee steps. Uh, we'll start out showing you in the chair. So as we're sitting here, we're taking those high knee steps, like we're stepping over something in the floor. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. Really trying to pick those feet up a little higher than what you had them before. There we go. So as we're doing that, we're making sure we're sitting up tall. Don't hunch over to do it. Make sure we sit tall. Now, if you feel comfortable and you're standing, really think about, look at that. I'm stepping up. I'm stepping over something in the floor. If I need to hold on to the chair, I can hold on to the chair. I can let go of the chair. And for y'all that feel very comfortable, again, you can walk around the room doing this. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. We're just stepping over stuff that our kids left in the floor. A few more steps, about 10 more seconds worth of this. There we go. And good job. All right, so back to the chair we go. And now what we're going to do is our kickbacks. So if I'm kicking back, I'm kicking toward the back of the chair. If I'm sitting down, again, I'm sitting straight up to do this. I don't want to hunch over, but I want to sit straight up. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. There we go. Now, if we're standing, we might be able to kick a little more. We're kicking back. You can hold on to the chair if you wish. You don't have to. And again, if you feel comfortable kicking around the room, kind of kick around the room a little bit. There we go. Just kicking straight back. Try to make sure you're not looking forward falling forward, because when we do that, we look down to the ground, we can kind of lose our balance a little bit. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, as we're sitting in our chair, one thing I didn't mention earlier is we're going to be sitting toward the front of the chair. Don't be sitting in the back of the chair. That would be called sitting. This is called balancing. So we'll be sitting toward the front of that chair, feet kind of together now, and what we want to do is step to the side. Step back to the center and out to the side. This will be our slide step. There we go. Just stepping side to side. 
Make sure we're keeping ourselves up tall. Nice and easy. Nice and smooth. Stepping side to side. Not bad. A few more of those. And now we'll also, you can do it standing. Where you're stepping side to side. Or if you need to hold on to your chair, just step side to side. And then you can change sides of the chair if you need to. Just be walking around the chair, holding on and stepping to the other side. And you can also just travel step. Pretty smooth. But I'll finish this one sitting down. So we're stepping side to side. Not bad. Pretty easy here. Make sure you're sitting straight up. You ought to feel your heart rate starting to beat a little bit too. Our balance classes have a very cardio based it to it also. Get your heart rate up, a little sweat going. All right, so our next step that we're going to do, uh, if you feel comfortable doing this step, we can do this step. Uh, but kind of what I want you to do is make sure you're sitting toward the front of your chair, sitting tall, and I kind of want you to come out and lean forward a little bit. It's kind of like you're walking backwards. So I'm here two steps forward, two steps back, sitting down. Two steps forward, two steps back. Kind of just leaning forward, leaning back. When you lean forward, make sure we don't look down at our feet. Look down at our feet, that's what causes a lot of us to fall. So we're keeping our balance, looking straight forward. There we go. Now, if you do feel comfortable standing up and doing this, go ahead. If you don't, stay in the chair, back and forth. If you're standing up doing it, take two or three steps forward and two or three steps back. Never look down at the ground. I promise your feet will be there at the end of the time. If they're not, we'll call the inquirer. Very good. All right. So kind of take you a couple steps with your feet. Your hips are probably feeling a little tight, a little wind in a... Just a little tired there. So our next thing we're going to go to is with our piece of equipment that we got at the beginning. Uh, it can be a belt. Mine's a cane. Uh, it can be a stick, a broom handle, mop handle, anything like that. But uh, I use, I'm using a cane today because it's what I had uh, handy. And uh, what we're going to start with, well, I'll let you go ahead and see if you need to grab something real quick. It can be anything, like I said, anything that you can hold on to. All right, so what we're going to start with, and we're sitting toward the front of the chair. That's a, a big key to it. Now, as we're sitting, we want our feet about shoulder width apart. Uh, and as we do this, we'll change our foot position. So feet about shoulder width apart, holding on to our cane or whatever you have. And what we want to do is kind of rotate, like we're rowing a boat almost. And as we're rowing this boat, we want to concentrate on turning on our core. Not just our shoulders, but on our core muscles, our back muscles. If we just turn on our shoulders, we're going to get tired really quick. So we really want to concentrate on turning through here. Nice and smooth, going down the river in our kayak, getting there nice and easy. Water smooth, weather's pretty. Wish we were all outside doing it. Nice and easy. All right, so now what we want to go to, we've had our feet about shoulder width apart. Now we want to take our feet to, to touching together, side by side. This will change our balance a little bit, kind of like going from a, a canoe to a little bit smaller boat. So again, we've got it out here. We're turning on that core, not turning on just our shoulders. We're turning on our core. Really think about engaging your core. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. Turn it on it. There we go. Again, turn it on the core, not just the shoulders. You're going to feel some in the shoulders. Not everything, but you're going to feel a little bit in your shoulders. There we go. All right, so we've done that. Now we want to go to what's called a tandem stance, or I guess it would be called a tandem sit. 
what we'll do here is one foot will go in front of the other. And it really doesn't matter which foot goes out in front of the other. Uh, it can be right, left, either one. So we go out here and now we're rowing again. Nice and smooth. Nice and easy. There we go. Now you notice that balance is a little different. Every time it's a little different here, a little different there. But make sure you're sitting tall. Don't slump over. There we go. Almost to the end of the river. We went from our canoe to a little bit smaller boat. Now we're in a kayak. All right. So now we've finished our, our canoeing. Everybody's still in the boat, I hope. So what you kind of want to do is kind of take a few steps, rotate your shoulders and everything, kind of, because you did turn on them. Don't, we all turned on them, so I'm minor a little tight myself. So our next thing that we want to do, we're going to kind of hold the stick up above our head. If you can't hold it all the way up above your head, or if you can't even hold the stick above your head, just hold your hands up, or hold your hands as high as you can. So I've got the stick up. Now what I want to do is I want to take my right leg and I just want to pick it up. Again, I'm sitting tall, nice and smooth, nice and easy. Reaching high and relax. Okay. So we did our right leg. <clears throat> we'll go to our left leg now. So we go up, reaching high, reach high, pull the left leg up. There we go. Now, you're going to notice you have a little bit different balance on one leg versus the other. Uh, if you're right-handed, normally you're right, with your right foot down, you're going to be a little bit better. Left-handed, left-footed. Nice and smooth. All right, so relax just a little bit. Take a couple steps. Kind of rotate them shoulders out a little bit because we did use them. And we're going to go back to that exercise, but we're going to add a little bit to it. We're going to test our balance a little more. So we go up. Got to stick above my head. Pick my right foot up. Now, sitting in the chair, I just want to lean to my right a little bit. I'm going to come back up straight. I want to lean to my left a little bit. Come back straight. Over to the right. And straight. And left. And straight. All right? You can take the stick down. Take you a couple steps. Rest your shoulder. Kind of shake your shoulders just a little bit. Not bad. So now, we're going to go to our other leg. We go up. Take that other leg up, which will be our left leg today. We're reaching high. We lean a little bit to our left. Lean a little bit to our right. Back up straight. A little to our left. There we go. And a little to our right. All right, relax for a second. We're going to go through that one more time. And probably you noticed when you were leaning with one foot down, you even felt better one foot wait, one, one foot down. Uh, I felt better with my right foot down. So we're going to go through that one more time. We come up. Right foot pops up. Let's lean to our left this time. There we go. Threw you off a little bit. Lean into the right. Lean into the left. And lean into the right. All right. Relax just for a second. Kind of take you some steps out of it. Okay, so we pop up, left foot pops up, let's lean to our right, there we go, lean to our left, and you lean as far as you feel comfortable, lean to your right, and lean to your left, all right, so one more time with each foot, we're going to do something a little different this time, so we're going to pick up this right foot, right foot pops up, and we just want to lean forward, and then lean back. Lean forward. And lean back. <laughs> lean forward. And lean back. Very good. So now we'll go where we've got our other foot up in the air. <laughs> so what we'll do here, excuse me, I apologize, is we're going to pick our left foot up. Sitting tall. Still sitting tall. You lean forward. And you lean back. You lean forward, and you lean back. You lean forward, and you lean back. Very good. Hey, that's doing, that's doing some good job. Good work right there. Good work right there. All right, so now what we want to do 
And I get made fun a lot of time in the fitness center for showing this exercise to everybody. But I still think this is a very important exercise to do if you can. And if you can't, we will adapt to it. So what we'll do here, we're sitting feet about shoulder width apart. Holding on to our cane here, like so. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. So what we want to do here is stand straight up and sit straight down. Now, when we're standing up and sitting down, we don't want to fall over and we don't want to plop when we sit down. So, holding on to our stick, we stand up and we sit down. Now, if you're having trouble standing up, go ahead and get yourself stood up, holding your stick wherever you can or wherever you want to, and then make sure you sit easy. That sitting easy is going to be where you gain a lot of your strength and your balance. And as we improve our balance or we improve our strength, we're going to improve our balance. So let's do a few more of those. We're here. We're up. And we're down. We're up. And we're down. We're up. And we're down. All right, very good, very good. So probably right now, heart rate's up. Mine's up, I can tell. A uh, little sweat going. So if you need to get a sip of water, grab you a sip of water with that and uh, see how you can just get your heart rate down just a little bit. <clears throat> so our next exercise, we're going to be standing up to do it. So what we'll be doing here, we'll take our stick, our belt, whatever we've got. We're going to hold it over our head. We're going to go up onto our tiptoes. Like we're trying to put this on the top shelf. So I'm reaching up and I'm putting it on that top shelf. I want to reach high, put it on the top shelf. Reach high. So we're going up onto our tiptoes. If you don't feel comfortable coming out of the chair to stand up to do that, still hold that stick up above your head and reach. And as you reach, push up onto your tiptoes. So we're either, if we're standing, we're reaching to put the crock pot on the top shelf. If we're sitting, we're reaching to put that crock pot on that top shelf still. We don't want to cheat ourselves. So I'm here, I'm reaching as high as I can. High as I can. Push up on my tiptoes. Try to make yourself a half inch taller. I was supposed to be six foot. I'm only 5'11". Try to get six foot every day. Someday I might make it, someday I might not. But I want to reach as high as I can. Reach as high as I can. There we go. Couple more. All right, so we've made it through the boat, made it sitting down through the chair and everything. We can put our, our uh, cane, our mop panel, whatever down. And now what we're going to do, if you feel comfortable, is we'll be standing next to our chair. So if I'm standing next to my chair, whatever foot's closest to that inside part of that chair, I'm going to lift up. I can hold on to the chair if I would like. I don't have to. Uh, if I want to take my hand off, I can, but I can keep contact with that chair. If I'm sitting, I can do the same thing. I just pick that foot up. So now what I want to do is take this off hand and reach out like I'm taking a present from somebody. Everybody likes getting presents. So now I got to put that present on the top shelf. Still got my foot up, touching the, touching the chair if I need to. Right now I need to. Now we come out to the side. Kind of like an airplane. It's supposed to be the easiest balance. I'm not really sure if it is or not. And then reaching back behind you. All right, relax for a second. We're going to do that one more time. Kind of take you a couple steps, just kind of get your legs loosened up again. Put a lot of pressure on our feet and stuff if we can. If I'm sitting doing this, here I am, I'm sitting, I've got this foot up. I reach out to get that present. Reaching out to get it, reaching out to get it. I got it. So I'll go to the top shelf with it. Still keeping this foot up. Keeping our core engaged. And then I go out to the side like an airplane. And after the airplane comes, I reach back to the wall. Or when I was a kid, my parents gave me in the back seat. All right, I put that foot down. Take a couple steps. Not bad. So now I'm going to change sides of the chair. And as I change sides of the chair, I also change legs. So the foot that's been down will be up. The foot that was up will be down. So you may notice that when you pick this first leg up, it's going to feel heavy. So I pick it up, a little heavy. 
And you're going to notice pretty quick, balance was better on one side versus the other. So now we're going to reach out. Ooh. We reach up. There we go. We reach out to the side. And then we reach back. Very good. Now take you a couple steps. That hip loosened up again. And we'll do it one more time. For you that can do, keep doing it standing, stay standing. For those seating, stay seated. Right, that inside foot pops up. There we go. Our hand reaches out as far as I can, taking that present. All right, we reach up. We're putting it on that top shelf. Again, long core, long engaged core. We reach out to the side like an airplane. They say this is how you're most balanced. Not really sure about that one. And then we reach back. There we go. All right, so we've done some sitting and standing one-legged balance. Now what we're going to go to is some proprioceptive balance, vestibular balance. Uh, in class, we call it going to the grocery store. Uh, if you've got enough room, you can do it walking. If not, you can do it sitting or standing. We're going to take, looking straight ahead, and now we're sitting tall, we're standing tall, and our head is moving side to side. Now, as our head moves side to side, you notice everything looks a little blurry. That's really what throws our balance off. So we turn our head real quick and it throws our balance off. If you're walking around the room doing this, you'll notice how you really can be thrown off with this. We're looking side to side. Side to side. All right. So now, we brought our grocery list with us, but I didn't wear my glasses. So I've got to hold my list out here away from me. So if I'm holding my list out here away from me, I'm going to turn side to side. Following my hand. I want to focus on my hand, or what would be my grocery list. I don't want to focus on everything else around it. I want to stare right pretty much at my hand as it rotates. As it rotates, everything around me, except my hand, is blurry. Make sure you're sitting tall. Big key to it. We're looking for sauerkraut in our grocery store because that's always the hardest thing to find. All right. Not bad. All right. So we made it through the grocery store and everything. What we're going to go to now is just a simple cool down stretch. Uh, it's always important after every workout to kind of stretch a little bit. Warmed up at the beginning, we'll stretch kind of here at the end. Uh, we've taxed our legs, taxed our hips, taxed our shoulders. We've taxed a little bit of everything, our whole body today. So first thing we want to do is just kind of put our right leg forward. We're just going to lean. We're not trying to reach down there and grab our toe or anything. We're just leaning forward, sitting toward the front of our chair. Leaning forward. Feel that stretch in that hamstring. Feels pretty good. All right, so now we're going to swap legs. Go to that other leg. We're down. We just lean forward. Now, my left hamstring is much tighter than my right hamstring. So it might, I may not lean as far forward, but I'm still going to get that pretty good stretch out of it. Now, we didn't do it with the right leg, but if you want a little extra stretch, don't reach down there and grab your foot. Just kind of flex your toe, or point your toe back at your nose. You'll feel a little extra in it. All right, well, back to sitting tall in our chair. We're going to take our right leg. We're just going to pick it up. And as we pick it up, we want to rotate that ankle. Very good. My ankle sounds like Rice Krispie Treats, but that's fine. All right, so now we go to our left. Now, if you don't feel comfortable picking them up, pulling them up that high, just lift them up and rotate that ankle. There we go. Very good, very good. All right, so now what we're going to go to, we're going to take our left hand and kind of reach, if we're in a chair or sitting down, we're going to reach back kind of to the left part of the chair, kind of grab it, take our right hand, put it on our right knee, and just kind of turn. We're not going to force ourselves to turn. We're just going to kind of turn to a gentle stretch. Now, to make it a little tougher, what you can do is look over your left shoulder. There we go. Good. So now we're going to come back to the other side. 
So our left hand goes on our right knee, right hand grabs the back of the chair. And I'm so much more flexible to my right side, it's crazy, but a lot of people will be, a lot of people will be more flexible to their left. All right, so now we come back to forward. We're gonna reach our hands out, far as we can reach out. Make sure we're sitting tall. Again, you're taking that present. And now kind of what we want to do, instead of putting it on that top shelf, is we just want to kind of lean forward. You can keep your head up if you'd like. Just don't pop down to the floor. There we go. Kind of let our fingernails touch the floor if they can. And then come back up to forward. And as we're forward, we just reach out again. And now we go up as high as we feel comfortable. And just really stretch out a couple really deep breaths take our hands kind of reach back behind your chair kind of poke your chest out like a grade school teacher always told you looking up at the ceiling all right so now what we'll do we'll take our head We'll look straight up. Make sure we're sitting tall. A couple deep breaths. There we go. Now we're going to take our chin, touch our chest. A couple deep breaths also. Okay. Left ear to left shoulder. Because your right ear just won't go over there, I hope. And then your right ear goes to your right shoulder. All right. So one last stretch we do. I do it for every. I, do, I finish every class this way. Why don't you take your take your arms, wrap them around, squeeze yourself tight, give yourself a huge hug. As I finish every class, my time is up. And I thank you for yours. Have a great day. Keep your balance every day.